What's up you guys? Today we are fishing the East Gallatin River here in Montana and we're gonna catch some fish. Let's do it. All right, first things first, we gotta grab some Mickey D's. You know the move, gotta get that lunch, gotta get hydrated. Probably gonna go with the cheeseburger meal. It's usually the best, but uh, what do you guys like to get at McDonald's? This is really like cancer. You know, it still tastes good. Y'all remember when McDonald's used to have the dollar menu and it was actually affordable? I just paid $8.50 for two cheeseburgers, man. I remember you used to be able to go get like a McDouble for $1.25, a couple of McDoubles, a large sweet tea. Not anymore, man, that inflation. We got the goods. The McDonald's is in the right spot, but y'all take a look at this. I haven't tasted it, because I don't know. That is not a sweet tea. So I don't know what kind of hydrochloric acid they just tried to give me, but um, that ain't no sweet tea. So McDonald's, we got beef, but I don't have enough time to worry about that right now. Oh yeah, that song's such a banger. Okay, can't get copyright. Today's video is brought to you by Post Fly. You guys are awesome. Provide actually a lot of resources for fly fishing, especially if you don't know what to throw. Shout out to them. All the flies that I throw today, you can find in a Post Fly box. We made it out here to the beautiful East Gallatin behind me. What a beautiful day. The sun is actually kind of killing the vibes a little bit because the sun definitely makes for a less cinematic and pretty video, but nonetheless, a uh, beautiful place to fish. So already coming up here on this little spot, you can already see this nice little run right here. Nice, pretty deep run. Should be some fish hiding right in there. And if they're not there, then we can always walk up and down the spot. In the winter time, this area gets really good. It's really nice and deep. And there's lots of little pocket water for the fish. Got a little bitty black midge down low probably won't be able to see that maybe and then it's up to a uh, size 16 i believe pat's rubber legs and i have a lot of leader running right now because i was fishing some pretty quick water the last time i was out my guess is that we'll have enough leader for this section of water but you also never know I'm just gonna put it out there it's pretty quick right through there but I mean, I'm feeling like there is gonna be some fish kind of hold up right in that little back eddy there. And a lot of times it's all about the drift. If you can, you always wanna have that perfect, perfect drift. You guys ever heard that stuff about, you know, having to be sneaky, the fish can feel your vibrations and whatnot? Well. We're sneaking up on this little run right here. This is really slower moving. It's a little side channel, but it looks pretty deep. With any luck, maybe we can pull a fish out of it. So I'm gonna sneak to the bottom of it, try to drop a few casts in there, see if we can catch one. So I switched it up, and uh, cause we broke off our whole entire rig, I had the stone fly up top at first, down to the little black midge. Switched on, I'm trying to keep my shadow out of the water as much as possible. We'll see how good of a cast we can get here. Put a San Juan worm up top, a red, well, a red wire worm up top, down to a little red midge at the bottom. And I think that might be a bit of a hot ticket. And we'll just put it right out there in that current seam, see kind of what happens? Usually right there in the seam is where you're gonna get those fish. They like to hang out in there and uh, wait for their food to come by and jump out there and eat it. You gotta be kidding me, man. Awesome, another two fly swing. Sick. This is like one of those things you see in, you know, like New Zealand, where they're uh, fishing these little bitty spring creeks. There's like these gargantuan trout in there. There's a fish. That is a good fish, guys. That's a good fish. That is a really good fish. Oh my gosh, stay pinned, stay pinned, stay pinned. What is that, is that a white fish? It is a white fish. Oh my gosh. That is a big freaking white fish, guys. Come here. That is a big white fish out of that hole. And somebody is calling me, and I do not have the time 
to answer this phone call because I am hooked up with a fish right now. Oh my gosh. Does not want to be caught. Come here, come here, come here. Come on. Gotta let him just, gotta let him run a little bit. I saw him flailing and I was like, first I was like, yeah, that's not a, that's not a, uh, golly, come on, buddy. Come on, come here. I don't want to, ah, come on, come on, come on, don't break off. I'm afraid this stupid thing is going to break off. I'm gonna freaking screw up on this fish, man. I'm gonna screw it up. Come on, get off of there. Bro, how is that possible? How did I just do that? I just got my fly line stuck in this little nail. Come here, buddy. Let's see if we can get him. I didn't want to horse him, but he does not, he does not want to be caught. Come here, come here, come here. Come here. I don't, like I said, I do not want to horse him. Just want to play him nice and easy. Come on, bud. Come on. Turn, 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 turn. Dang. Come here. And I can't get him, or I would, but, uh, and of course, he comes right here to me. No, 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 don't turn that way. Don't turn that way. Don't go downstream. I just got my hand warmer wet. I'm fairly certain. Let's get him this way. Come here, come here, come here. I hope you guys can see this fish. I mean, it's not a trout, which would be cool. Oh, check that out. That is a nice white fish, you guys. These fish are native to Montana. Okay, let's get up here. Let's keep him in the water. He barely fits in my net. This is crazy, probably. This is definitely the biggest fish that I've caught in Montana thus far. Check this out, I gotta keep our hands wet. It's probably my biggest fish in Montana so far. Giant mountain white fish. Look at that, absolute stud. Beautiful, beautiful fish. Let's get him back, okay? I really, really hope you were able to see that. That was a beautiful, beautiful mountain white fish. Probably my biggest ever that I've caught here. Definitely my biggest ever. Wow, what a, that was actually a really good fight. Just wanted to be pinned to the bottom there. That was crazy. I hope you guys were able to see it okay. I really wanted to take care of the fish, get them back in the water as quickly as possible. So I didn't spend a ton of time fiddling my camera, just set it up and press record. So hopefully it's good footage, but that is awesome. What a beautiful fish. And what a great way to start off the day. What a beautiful day it's been, but it is that time and I gotta head home. Got some March Madness to watch tonight. Those mountains back there. And uh, I gotta go pick the wife up and I'm already cutting it a little close. So thank you guys for watching. What a beautiful day catching some fish out here in Montana. Hope you guys enjoyed it and we'll catch you on the next one. Peace.